You can't get victory through the back door. For Yemi's campaign chief tells Ola Solar a chieftain of the All Progressives Congress, APC, Hon. Bamadele Faparusi, has described the recently filed petition of the People's Democratic Party's governorship candidate, in the July 14 election, Polipo Olasola, at the tribunal, as an exercise in futility. Olasola had filed his petition on Friday against the winner, Dr. Kuyode for Yemi, calling for the nullification of the exercise. The Deputy Director General of the Kuyode for Yemi Campaign Council, said the election reflected the will of a kitty people and that not even the petition filed by Olasola or any other party can upturn the verdict. The former House of Representatives member added that the party will assemble a highly experienced legal team that would confront the PDP and its candidate and prevent them from getting victory through the back door. For Yemi, the candidate of the APC polled a total of 197, 459 to trounce Ola Sola, who got 178, 121 votes in the keenly contested election. In the petition filed by the head of his legal team, Malam Yusuf Ali, Olasola prayed the tribunal to declare him the winner of the July 14 election, predicating this on the fact that he polled the highest number of lawful votes in the poll. Responding to the action, Faparusi, in a statement in Adua Kitty on Saturday appealed to APC members across the state to be peaceful and see the present legal challenge as one that won't yield any fruitful result. The APC chieftain described the election as the best in a kitty since the advent of democracy in 1999, saying the allegations of ballot stuffing and snatching, falsification of results and brazen abuse of powers by APC to win the election only existed in the demented imagination of the PDP as a political party. He said, Professor Olasola asking that he be declared winner of an election he lost was a tall dream that won't be realized. The whole world could attest to the credibility of the election. Several credible observer groups with the exception of those sponsored by Governor Ayodele Fiosse had given the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC, a thumb up over its transparency in the conduct of the election. The European Union and other global bodies that monitored the governorship election praised the Electoral Commission for doing a great job. Since the advent of democracy in 1999, this election stood out to be the most keenly contested with the winner defeating the loser with a marginal edge of 19, 338 votes. This confirmed and substantiated how transparent INEC had been in the conduct of this election. No election can be deemed to have been perfect, but substantially, the exercise could be adjudged to have been conducted in line with the 1999 Constitution and the dictate of the Electoral Act. If one dissects the trends of the winning across the 16 local governments, the two parties were having marginal edge ahead of others, but eventually APC won in 12 local governments and PDP won 4. If the PDP could be bold to tag an election where the winner won 12 councils and loser 4, what would the people call the June 21, 2014 governorship election, where Governor Fiosse defeated the incumbent governor, Drive? For Yemi and all the 16 local governments, no one can abridge Professor Olasola's rights to seek redress in court. This steps remains the most civilized and recognized resort in electioneering process, but we in the APC are confident that it is going to be a futile effort because drive. For Yemi got the mandate through credible means, he concluded.